Saladin, Sultan of Egypt and Syria, conquers Jerusalem in the year 1187. The first thing he does is destroy the bells of the Holy Sepulchre. The second thing Saladin does is seal off one of the two doors of the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre with these words. One door is more than enough for the few Christians who will remain in the Holy Land. That's the year of the establishment of the State of Israel. Christians in Jerusalem were nearly 20% of the population. Today, Christians in the area are less than 1.4% of the population. Bethlehem, 1967, the Six-Day War. Christians in Bethlehem were 70% of the population. Today, they don't even reach 12%. What does this imply? That if we don't do something, the Holy Land will be left without Christians. The sealed door of the Holy Sepulchre will remain sealed. The, uh, the religious situation uh, is increasingly putting us in a minority because of the persecution of Christians and uh, many Christians are fleeing the Holy Land because there's, there's no work. There are many limitations on property, uh, and there are many threats to Christians as well. So it's uh, not easy to raise a family, and uh, when they can, many, many Christians are, are leaving the Holy Land. I'm Amal Hazin. My name is Amal Hazin. I was born in Bethlehem and lived there until I was 18. My name is Majdi Hashul. Majdi, which, which means my glory, which in the end would mean the glory of God, of the Lord. I come from the Holy Land, Israel, from a famous and beautiful city named Haifa. It is the city of Mount Carmel, as Mount Carmel is above the city. Being Christian and having been born in that land, at least for me, means a lot. I've experienced it as a great gift, entering into the holy places, such as the Church of the Nativity, which I visited nearly every day. I would leave my house early in the morning to go to Mass. For me, it was the most important thing in my life. Truly, Words cannot describe what one experiences when entering these places. You see the spirit that they have. They have a spirit. I think the Christians in the Holy Land feel privileged. In spite of all the persecutions and the difficult times, they feel privileged, and they're giving it their all. We should also feel privileged to be able to go there and help them, support them, and make them feel that we are with them, because their life is not easy at all.